My name is Faith Spotted Eagle. My Dakota name is Tonka Inajiwe, which is Standing Stone. And I live and grew up along the Missouri River in southeastern South Dakota. And for Native people, we call it the Ocheti Shakoi. But we, our river is a very vulnerable river that is extremely at risk. Even two days ago, Trump declared that they were going to undo the monuments that and the upper Missouri River is going to be one of those that are undone in addition to all the pipeline destruction that is happening. And we're actually in a state of war declared by the Trump administration against us because they're, they're breaking their own laws. They're circum circumventing the National Historic Preservation Act and removing the federal nexus by going straight to the state. So the state doesn't have to follow federal regulations. So they have found, a, and the w only way the tribe can force them to come to the table is if that nexus through the feds come through and they see, okay, we'll get that out of the way and give it to the state, and the state doesn't even have to talk to us. So our burial sites, our cultural landscapes, our water security, our health security, the human rights has completely gone out the window. And I think the really crucial thing that's happening is that it's not just happening to indigenous people. There are 17 million water users along the Missouri River that are beyond native people. And we're only 1% of the population. So downstream, it's going to affect Mississippi. And uh, we really are in a dire state where I think that if we continue to go at the rate that we're going, all of this is going to implode on itself. And so we will not back down, and we haven't. We had the victory with um, President Obama with the Keystone Pipeline. We were able to stop that. So we are reorganizing again around the Keystone Pipeline. And so we have a whole delegation here of uh, white ranchers, white landowners, and native people that have come together again to solidify our alliance to stop this intrusion into especially treaty territory because once again the treaties are being broken by Mr. Trump. He has absolutely no regard and to make things worse yesterday with the National Rifle Association talk about entitlement by a non-native white person he ended up calling Elizabeth Warren that uh, stereotypical Pocahontas and for us that's just an outrage because Pocahontas was molested by John Smith just like Trump has molested people. So isn't that a, <laughs> a coincidence? It's not a coincidence. It's just typical of what we're dealing with now. But I'm glad that press is here covering it. And if you could get it out to the world that we are in a place where people in federal agencies actually are fearing for their jobs. So um, I encourage them to stand up. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am.